the truth the girls. Hi everyone. It's Truth or Girls. Truth or Girls Sonia here. I'm here with Gunner. Barely speak. We've got more work to do, and I was gonna take you along today. We're going to the locker room. Uh, last time we were here, I should have made a video. We started cleaning out the locker, which was completely full, by the way, and we found all kinds of interesting things, but I didn't feel like filming because I looked all hoboed out, like I do today. I don't have time for makeup and whatever. Look, I put lipstick on. It's just for you guys. Stressed out. I didn't feel like taking out the camera, but I should have because we found some cool stuff. So maybe we'll find some cool stuff today. Okay, so we have to go down Why here. Yeah, I know. Maybe there's somebody in here. I Look, it's so you? scary. Gunner, isn't it scary? This is like super horror you movie. Get around. You dun, go dun, that dun, way. Dun, I, dun, I, dun. I go that way. Kick, 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 kick
Oh, there, there over there is the car wash, by the way. Oh, I want to see it. There's not much to see. That's where Aaron used to like rinse off his tires when he used to come for dinner at my parents' place. Huh. Daddy, with the wheelchair in case you don't know. Oh, 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 where are we going? Oh, we're going down. We're going, let's go all the way down, okay? Look at all Go, go, those. Gunner, go, you go first. Oh. Watch out for your head. You're under five feet, it's okay. Look how low it is. Yeah, it's low, but I'm, I'm short. Like it's not foot. a problem. I'm four foot seven. Come on, let's go. Look at this. So big. There's like three floors. Like, okay, go. Keep going, there. keep going. There's Down more. There. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah. Gunner was asking me why do some cars have blankets on them, and I had to explain that it's because sometimes rich people have more cars than they need. It could be a car that, like a Ferrari, that they only take out in the summer. The rest of the time, it sits there with a sheet over it to keep it clean. We're gonna do exploring. What? Explore here more. No, now we're going back to the locker. Yes, oh, yes, we've got work to do. All right, we're gonna open our first bag. It's right here. Okay, count, Gunny, come here. Let's let's check out what's inside. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be art. Oh my God, this is the thing about when you go to art school. Like you make so much art, and then what are you gonna do? You're stuck with it. You're gonna throw it out. You can't sell it. Yeah, that one's kind of cool, eh? A couple of teapots. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that one. Hmm. Oh my god, what is this? This is like really disturbing looking. Oh and I think oh that's god. when I was in my oh, my emo phase. Whoa, it's kinda it's kinda cool though. It's eyes follow you. And all scary. Alright, this was obviously from my life drawing class. Except that she I didn't get to the head. I somehow started it too low maybe. She has a lot of scars on her if you look up close, you see? That I went through a, uh, a period where I did a lot of scars. Again, she has no head, you know? I suppose it didn't seem important to me. Poor Gunny got so hungry we had to make a pit stop. It's hard work, it's actually really stressful, like doing all this sorting and cleaning. Gunner's a hard worker though, eh? You did a lot yesterday. You feeling better now? Little bunny. We're having our little hobo snack time here in front of the building. I'll tell you, in all the years that I've lived here, or had lived here, and visited, I have never seen anyone else squat down uh, like, like this in the back of the building. A fancy building with fancy people, they don't squat on the sidewalk. I found something else. This was from when I was doing um, silk screens, like making t shirts. What is it I started a little t shirt company. Oh, I started designing these, these things, like for rave t shirts. You know, I was into the rave scene at the time. And um, this was very popular to like take a design from like a, something that existed and turn it into something ravey. So I had this, I had, uh, instead of Twix, I had Trip, long lasting, refreshing. Get it? And uh, I also had this, instead of 7-Up, I had Zap. Oh, and I had this one, instead of Arrow, I turned it into Afro, pure milk chocolate. And I remember when I got the inspiration for that one, I was in a store and I looked at the Arrow bar and I thought, that looks like Afro. And like with the curl, kind of curly look to it, the chocolate. Okay, so here's what happened. So I made these designs and I was making these super cool shirts and I was selling them to, selling them to the skate shops. By the way, these things are all patented, copyrighted or whatever. So there was this guy called Zepp and he was selling shirts at raves. And so I approached him with my designs and I was like, I think I showed him just the Afro one. And he acted like, oh, I'm not interested. And then he stole my design. He stole my Afro design. And he changed it to pure funk chocolate. And uh, then he went to the skate shops where I'd been selling my shirts. And he came in and sold his, now they were his shirts. I mean, it was, it was horrible. I got completely screwed. And I could have taken him to court, I guess. But I don't know, I was young and I just, I was just like, whatever. 
like whatever, but I was so mad. And this guy, Zep, he ripped me off. And then he apologized to my boyfriend. It wasn't even his stuff. And then he ran for mayor. Some of you may remember Zep and the cowboy police. Yeah, that Zep. So that was the story of my t-shirt company. My very short-lived t-shirt company. I found some bags of material. These, actually, there's some very deluxe materials from when my mother used to own her own boutique uh, before she had us. My mother was quite enterprising because she was a stewardess, but she also owned her own boutique and it was like high fashion, nice boutique on uh, Sherbrooke Street called Elga's Bazaar. And they used to make clothes, like, like imitation Chanel suits and stuff. And that is what this was for. So this was from the 60s and like a suit would have been made out of this. And it, they looked really nice. Oh great, I have a whole other thing to go through. This whole portfolio. Oh man. Making art. Man, ugh. Oh, this is what happens when you go to art school, like I said. So I'm glad I stopped making art. Now I just make videos and take up a lot less space. This here, this is a self-portrait. It's from around 93, I think. Does it look like me, kind of? A bit. I like this one. This is a diner. Actually, not bad. Eh? It's kind of cool. I'm going to keep these two. We did a lot of life drawings in different materials. This one is like white and gray gouache. Again, no head. Oh, I remember this one. I like this one. I did this one when I was about 14. That's a really old one. I did this one at boarding school. In a watercolor. This one is from when I was about 17. I just started painting. <laughs> this is another self-portrait. I think it's from about 93. It's quite old. No, this was uh, maybe 1991. Oh, this is a collage I made when I was a teenager, and that's me when I was like 14, 15. The Lady Di look. It's me. Doing the Lady Di hat. That's me at 16. 1986. 15. That's me with some of my friends in high school. It's my high school collage. These were my best friends. That's my Edie Sedgwick look, the hairstyle. I was into Warhol. And uh, there's my dad. Well, this is very old. Like 1990, heavy metal Sundays, terminal bar spectac bar that's not even there anymore. Jim Rose Circus Sideshow. I saw them a long time ago. Huge groove experience. Grubby spits at the terminal. Grim Skunk and Infamous Bastards. This was another one of my t-shirt designs. Lizard. Uh, well, it's under a thing. It's a lizard that turns into a banana. I like this one. Maybe I'll make a t-shirt again. Oh, Gunner. You've had it. Gunny's getting bored. We're going to leave soon. I just want to show you one last one. I did a lot of these. I think I was about 17 on the shirt card wars. Obviously, this is David Bowie. I had a lot. Oh, I just found a couple of them. I like this one. Some of you are going to know who this was obviously inspired by, style-wise. But in any case, I really like it. I like the colors. I could even put this in your room, Gunner. This is kind of tropical. Tropical theme. No? Well, I like it anyway. Keeping it. I found something else that belonged to my mother. This was, it's a very special wool. She was very, very creative. She was always making things. Yeah, to be picked up by Sonia. Sonia never showed up. See, she was doing weaving and she was making these huge tapestries. This is the special wool. It was a big, thick, ropey wool like that in every kind of color. And my mother bought a lot of it. Whatever she did, she always did it to the max. She bought a lot of wool. She made a lot of tapestries. And everything she had left over, I actually knitted a cocoon for a tree one day. It went all the way around. It was like I used the branches as the loom, and I, I put 
strings and then I wove this tapestry into the tree and it stayed there all winter. Ta -da! I have another bag of art. Look at like a chimney sweep today. I think we're gonna be out of here soon though, Gunner. Should we do it today? Oh, we not... can come back another time. No, what do you we're think? gonna do it today. Today? Oh, really? You wanna finish the job? You're a good uh, worker. We'll do some. Okay, we'll finish it. We'll go through this. OMG, I'm really glad that we did go through it because you know what? I found a painting that I really like. Here, Gunner, you hold it up. Hold the top. Yeah, this was a tribute to uh, my friend Mike who died. Doing drugs? Yeah, doing drugs. Exactly. Okay, we're just about done and I just wanna show you something. You see this? Look at this, all this, this is all going to the dump. It's a huge cart full. You see that? That. That's my art that's going to the garbage, and this is my art that I'm keeping. It's just that. And actually, this is for Gunner to paint over. Don't look at it, it's a naked person. Uh, that's it, it's just what's in here. All that crap was sitting in here for what, 20, 20 years? More? Ah, what'd you say? You quit? quit? Yeah, me too. No, that's it. It's enough. We thought we were done, right? That whole cart? No, there's also all this. It's like, that's all going in the trash. This is being kept just right there. That's, but that's it. We, we asked, there's a little bit here, but you know what? I'm done. I'm done. You're done too, eh? Let's call it quits. Yeah, let's take that to the dump. That's it, we're finished.